Hi viewers, this is Dr. Muhammad Iftikhar Aslam. Uh, today I am going to present my lecture on uh, cytokosis. Uh, cytokosis is a term used to describe heme infection with Chlamydophila cytokai, formerly known as Chlamydia cytokai, a member of the family C. When an avian is infected with Chlamydophila cytokai, the term avian chlamydiosis is used. The disease in uh, avians is also known as parrot fever or ornithosis. Chlamydophila cytokai is an obligate intercellular organism. The developmental cycle includes two forms, the elementary and the reticulate bodies. The elementary body is thought to survive for prolonged periods in the environment but uh, cannot replicate. After attaching to a susceptible host cell, the elementary body enters the uh, cytoplasm and transforms into a larger flexible wall form called uh, the reticulate body. The reticulate body is non-infectious and is uh, uh, incapable of uh, extracellular survival. In 1879, Dr. J. Ritter was credited with the recognition of the first outbreak of uh, human cytokosis. He had seven ill patients who had uh, a history of uh, recent contact with sick parrots. The greatest epidemic occurred in 1929 to 1930 and was resulted in uh, uh, 750 to 800 sick humans. This outbreak was attributed to large-scale importation of uh, infected exotic birds from Argentina to Europe and uh, to the United States. There was a 20% mortality rate associated with those outbreaks. Since the 1930 epidemic, numerous countries have uh, instituted uh, a complete import ban on Sitka birds. Smuggling has been, become common in uh, the United States. In uh, 1935, Chlamydophila Sitka was found to be prevalent in uh, wild Sitka in Australia. Chlamydophila cyticae is excreted in the feces and nasal discharges of uh, the infected birds. The organism is uh, environmentally labile but can remain infectious for several months if protected by the organic debris. Men is an incidental dead end host because human infection can result from transient exposure to the infected birds or their droppings. The average person may be at risk without uh, rec recalling or reporting uh, having uh, contact with the birds. Infection may occur via inhalation of aerosols of uh, dried infective avian excreta when we transmission has also been reported foodborne transmission has not been recommended chlamydos phyla cyticae has been isolated from over 100 species of birds most commonly from cyticin parrot like birds uh, especially the cocktails or uh, parakeets the organism has also been identified in the pigeons, chickens, turkeys, ducks, aggregates, and gulls. There have been outbreaks on uh, turkey and duck forms associated with human illness. It has also been seen in retites. Chlamydophila cyticae is excreted in the feces and uh, nasal discharges of uh, infected birds. Birds can appear healthy but uh, can be the carriers that uh, shed intermittently. Shedding is the highest among young birds and may be activated by stress like uh, shipping, crowding, chilling and breeding. Birds may be asymptomatic, uh, may have uh, mild infections with diarrhea or have mild respiratory signs. 
common signs are anorexia weight loss yellowish droppings sinusitis and uh, nervous signs there may also be residual disturbances in feathering in survivors clinical signs in turkeys ducks and pigeons include depression ruffled feathers weakness in appetence weight loss nas- nasal discharge respiratory distress yellowish green or green diarrhea and uh, unilateral or bilateral conjunctivitis egg production may decrease nervous signs may include transient ataxia in pi- pigeons and uh, trembling or gait abnormalities in ducks diagnosis of uh, avian chlamydiosis uh, may include uh, pathologic diagnosis culture tests for antibody tests for antigen and uh, other tests such as uh, rapid immuno migration there are no gross pathognomonic lesions with chlamydophila cystica but staining of tissue or impression smears may identify the organism culture is recommended in uh, conjunction with the other forms of uh, diagnosis to avoid the limitations associated with other tests specialized lab facilities are required antibody tests include complement fixation and uh, uh, which is elementary body agglutination antigen tests include uh, elisa ifa and pcr treatment of uh, avian chlamydiosis can be difficult and fatalities may occur although present treatment protocols are usually successful knowledge is evolving and no protocol assures safe treatment or complete elimination of uh, infection all treatment should be supervised by a licensed veterinarian after consultation with an uh, experienced avian veterinarian all the birds should be treated for uh, 45 days sources of dietary calcium should be reduced if tetracyclines are used even with treatment latent infections and uh, shedding may continue Chlamydophila cystica has previously been part of uh, several countries bioweapons research programs some characteristics that uh, make it a good potential bioweapon include its stability in the environment ease for aerosolization and ease to obtain worldwide occurrence well that's the end of uh, today's lecture thank you so much